here's someone I think we can trust. And I, and I believe it because I've been to their website. I've read the article. I've seen their metrics that they use. Mm-hmm. The Millican Institute. Yes. Did you hear about this? Idaho Falls. And it's either, I'm sorry, for the second time in three years or the third time in four years, I've seen conflicting articles, mm-hmm. has ranked uh, Idaho Falls as the number one small city in the best performing cities of uh, 2024 this year. That's amazing. Wait, 2024 or 2023? 2024, I think. I wow. think when they release the list. Well, now I don't know. That just seems like they're choosing. But it I really think it soon. is. It is awards season. It is. That's true. And we rank things from. It's like taxes. Right. When right. you're talking your- to a CPA and you said, "I did something. I've got this for 2023." Right. They say tax year 2023 or calendar year 2023. Right. Right. That's a good point. So I don't know. I'm not sure. But mm-hmm. how cool is that? That's super cool. We deserve it. And that is why Weirdo Outsiders Millican Institute, your IFAF this week. Chris Pie 5, whoosh, 21 finger gun salute. Pew, pew, pew. pew. And, you know, mad Chef's props, kiss. big ups, chef's kiss to a podcast you've never heard of <laughs> and will never again. And you're also only getting chosen as IFAF because you recognize how great we are. But so that's, but that's thank what you we for do. that. <laughs> we love unconditionally. <laughs> And sometimes we love reciprocally. Yeah. If you love us, we love you. And that's showbiz, babe. Because mm-hmm. we didn't get enough love in our childhood. Uh, the quote is, <laughs> and that's showbiz, kid. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. It's almost like I really like musical theater. <sighs> it's almost like you've listened <laughs> to the Chicago soundtrack on repeat since it got canceled this year. I'm so sad about that still. You have no idea how much that hurt my heart. I just got my refund from the Idaho Falls um, Arts Council, and I was like, thank you, Idaho Falls Arts Council, mm-hmm. for totally totally reducing my Christmas bill to Carly by 154 bucks this year. <laughs> So, so what you going to do for me instead? Hey, listen, I already made it up to you on your birthday <laughs> and Valentine's Day is coming up. So maybe I'll get you some nice Russell Stover and you're going to have to be happy about it. Well, now I won't because you said it was bad. I'm kidding. I, I don't will, trust you. <laughs> I will never give you Russell Stover. That said, gentle <laughs> listener, if you're holding on to some Russell Stover in your little Valentine's bag for your Valentine, just give it. I yeah, know it's fine. Uh, no, I actually I like Russell Stover. I think it's fine. Okay. You know? I actually I actually know some people who are like that's their favorite. Right. And and it might not be because it's good, mm-hmm. but because it's familiar. Yeah. Like you, you, know what? you got yeah. it once from your favorite boy in high school Aww. when they were handing out Valentine's. Oh, that didn't happen for me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was a dork in high school. I never had a Valentine in high school. Have we ever thrown up your dorky uh, oh, junior high or, or high school picture? Oh, it was high school. No, not I on this a, episode. I was a late bloomer, baby. <laughs> Let's save it. And so was I. Yeah. I didn't. That's not totally true. You were a really cute kid. You were a cute I, kid your entire time. But like, I didn't become like even remotely cute until I was like 17. <laughs> I was a late bloomer, baby. 